Hello and welcome back everyone. So this is going to be a quick video on how to avoid adding scam coins to your MetaMask wallet and also how to always make sure that you're buying the token that you're intending to buy and not one that has the same name and looks just like it because these these imitation scam tokens are everywhere for almost every token you can find like nine different addresses so you have to be careful not just copying and pasting any address into your wallet right so we're going to cover some precautions that we take to avoid that but before we do if you're new around here, make sure you sub to the channel because we post content like this every day and we just broke 2k and we're slowly climbing on up to 3k. Alright, let's dive right in. Alright, so my favorite resource and what I think is the most reliable resource for finding the correct contract addresses is CoinMarketCap. Okay, so CoinMarketCap.com. So I'm sure you guys all know this website, but you might not know how easy it can make your life when adding tokens onto your MetaMask wallet and when you're buying new tokens from DeFi exchanges like PancakeSwap or Uniswap. All right, so let's use let's use Farland as an example. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna search Fara. So what you're gonna see here on the left hand side are all the contracts, depending on how many blockchains the specific token runs on, and you're also gonna see this little MetaMask icon. So what is this MetaMask icon? If you click the icon, it just automatically pops up and says add suggested tokens would you like to add these and you can click add and then you can open up your metamask and it's right there okay so that's that's the easiest and safest way to add a new token in fara's example fara fara land only runs on the binance smart chain so there's only one contract here for me to choose from so let's use usdc for example so I'm going to type in here USDC and you can see here it says more. So that first address on the left is the address for USDC if you were on the Ethereum mainnet. You can click more and then you can see the addresses for all the other chains. So if you wanted to add it onto your BSC wallet, if you're on Polygon, if you're on KCC, they have it all here and all you have to do is just click copy address or click add to metamask now let's say you're dealing with a token that doesn't have this metamask icon right this add to metamask option all you'd have to do is click copy address open up metamask scroll all the way down hit add token and then paste the address okay here you can see that it says token has already been added because i just added it with the add to metamask option but if i hadn't this would go through and i would add the token right so what if you wanted to buy a token on one of these decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap, Uniswap, QuickSwap? How would you safely buy a token on there? It's basically the same idea. So you just copy the address. I'm going to use PancakeSwap for this example since we're on the Binance Smart Chain. And you just paste the address. So there we go. And now you can see USDC. I can import USDC. And it'd be the exact same thing with Uniswap. So Uniswap, I'd go here, I'd find the Ethereum contract address, I'd go to Uniswap, paste address, and there you go, USDC right there. All right, so it sounds simple, but being lazy and not doing this can really get you wrecked. Like just copying an address from your Telegram group or a Discord group just because you don't want to go onto coinmarketcap.com to copy it from there is not okay like we're dealing with real money here take those extra two minutes to make sure it's the right address okay you might not think much of it now but you buy the wrong token one time and get wrecked you'll never ever forget it i'm not trying to scare you guys but it's just the truth all right guys if y'all enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and if you guys like this type of content i'm uploading every single day and I'm going to keep uploading, so hit that sub button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.